Hey guys, Pete here. Good to see you here again. Um, today I'm um, looking at these uh, pencil shaped P80 plasma torches. Thought I might have a go at making my homemade CNC plasma cutter. You never know how we get on with that. So we're going to need a plasma torch for that anyway. So uh, I bought one of these things and we will have a look and see what we see. Thanks guys. Hi guys, thought about making a uh, homemade CNC plasma cutter. Thought I'd give that a go. I'm sure I could figure out how to do it anyway. So I uh, I brought this um, pencil shaped P80 Panasonic plasma torch. So I thought I'd uh, show you guys and, and we're going to have a look at it, eh? Here it is here. And what do you get with it? You get one of these little things to, to undo your electrodes, I suppose. That's what it is. And uh, yeah, so this thing's um, reasonably long and it um, has the standard P80 cutting nozzle and standard P80 tip in there. So we'll take that off and we'll have a look. And the old uh, electrode there, so we use that tool that we got with it and take the old uh, electrode off. Stand the electrode, and uh, yeah, it looks alright actually, and pretty cheap, so so uh, it remains to be seen what she goes like, but it'll be ideal for my uh, my CNC machine that I hope to make. So, uh, Yeah, all in all, it's pretty solid. Um, if we unscrew the unscrew the back of it and have a look at that, what do we got inside here? Oh, uh, yep. <clears throat> we have uh, our ear to come in here, and our. Uh, and our pilot arc wire goes on there because this is a pilot arc torch, of course. And with these torches as well, you can you can buy a little switch like so, and you can actually just um, put your switch on on like so and use it manually as well. So you can use it with a um, like a like a pencil torch. Put your switch there, and um, yeah, you can actually cut out by hand. Yeah, that's quite cool. Um, to attach these little switches, um, all you do is a couple of zip ties, just a couple of the old zip ties like so. And um, if you thread it uh, through the holes in here, see the holes there, and you just thread it right through. And um, yeah, you can um, you can zip tie it onto your torch, and you're away. Um, we have another sort of torch as well, which is the same sort of thing, but it's um, it's got a handle. It's uh, it's like an L shape, and this is more for a hand torch. But this is um, still much the same as this one here. But um, like I say, it's a, it's an L shape that you can actually more control with your hands. But um, this one here doesn't have a switch on it either, and I think. The, um, the idea of this is that if you have a foot mounted switch that you can uh, operate it with your foot while you're, while you're cutting out your shapes you can operate it with your foot but once again you can um, put on the, uh, the switch no worries at all, it's uh, quite easy to do and um, yeah, quite uh, versatile really and the other one that we've got in, uh, in this is the uh, P80 torch like this, which is totally designed for a uh, handheld torch because this has got the inbuilt switch here, and they all take exactly the same consumables. And um, yeah, so if we pull this one to pieces, it'll be exactly the same as the other two. Um, quite good, really. Good variety, especially if you're making stuff. You know, making stuff you need a torch for various different applications. I find them really, really good. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, that's just a, a rundown on the on the different style of uh, P80 torches. But um, I'm looking forward to trying to, to trying to make my CNC machine with this one. 
Uh, if any of you guys have uh, tried to make homemade CNC before, drop me a link down below and, and let me know how you got on and, and give me some advice. I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, subscribe above there and uh, put the comments below. And um, I'll put a couple of links down the bottom if you're looking for bits and pieces. But um, yeah, it's all good really. Um, not too bad for Chinese stuff, eh? I like it. It's quite, it's quite weighty actually. Yeah, a lot to be said for it. Anyway, thanks guys. Hi guys, thanks for watching the old video. If you uh, learned anything and you want to uh, subscribe, hit the button up the top there or leave some comments down below. You guys know the rules and we'll uh, see you next time.